How's it going everyone? It's Ollie Lindley here from One Number and today we're going to take a look at how to clean up and organize your data pane. So maybe you're in the middle of a project, you've got loads of calculated fields, a mountain of worksheets and you're trying to work out how do I bring some order to the chaos. Maybe you're starting a project and you're thinking to yourself, I'm not going back to the mess that I experienced before. You know, I want to keep things neat right from day one. Well, hopefully this video will help you do that. Just give you a couple of tools uh, that I found useful in my Tableau development. So if you want to download this workbook, it is in the description below. You can download it from Tableau Public if you want to follow along and organize with me as we go. Alternatively, you can just watch along and uh, I'd love to know your thoughts, whether you think these tools are useful and if you've got any Tableau data pane clean cleanliness tips of your own, uh, please pop those in the comments. I'd really love to know. So, okay, so here is our workbook. Uh, we've got four worksheets. So this is by no means, uh, you know, out of control just yet, but it has the potential to be, right? Four worksheets in and we've got a lot of fields. So... Uh, by default, our data pane is going to be organized something like this, right? We've got a little set of dimensions and measures for each table that we've connected to. However, my recommendation when things get kind of crazy would be to sort of organize your data pane by folders instead. A folder is literally just uh, an area that you can uh, dump a bunch of fields into to kind of keep them there for later use. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna hit this drop down. I'm gonna say group by folder. Do you see how at the moment it's grouped by data source table? That's the default. Group by folder is what I wanna use. And now you can see I've just got one long list of dimensions and measures. So there are two ways that we can group by folder. The first is to put common uh, fields into a folder. And those fields should be common on the basis of the measure or the dimension that they're based on. Does that make sense? So what I mean is if I create a folder using a whole bunch of these sales fields that we've got, that might be one way of grouping nicely, uh, you know, a bunch of these, a bunch of these fields. So I'm just selecting all the ones that I want uh, that are related to sales. I'm holding down command because I'm on a Mac control if you're on a Windows, then right click go down to folders and create a folder. And we're gonna call this something like sales calcs, you know, or sales fields, you know, something like that, that just indicates to you, okay, any field that I create that's based on some of say, that's based on sales, I'm gonna put into this folder. And you can pretty much run that all the way through so that you know, okay, cool, we're gonna keep this nice and neat. The other way of uh, grouping by folder is to, Let's do that over here, group by folder. The other way of grouping by folder is to do it based on the worksheet that the calculations originate from. This is probably more useful if you've got slightly fewer worksheets and the worksheets are quite dense in terms of the calculations that you're working with. So one way that we could do that is we've got this maximum order per subcategory worksheet. And I think, you know, if we just take a bunch of these, Maximum sales. I'm pretty sure these are all related to this. This rank one. Uh, what else are we looking for? You know, things like that. Uh, I think that would all be in here. Then we just right click. We're going to go to folders, create a folder. And here I just maybe indicate that these are calculations based on a sheet and say max order, you know, something like that. The last way that you can group by folders, and I actually don't have an example of it right now, but I thought I'd just say it, is grouping by cal calculation type, right? So if these, these are date calculations, we're gonna throw all those calculations into this folder. If they are string functions, we're putting them into this folder. If they're logic calculations, we're putting them into that folder. Maybe that's a way that could work uh, for you and be quite useful. In my experience, two other um, suggestions, and maybe you can look out for these in your workbooks, uh, would be to delete unused calculated fields and to take a look out for, or keep an eye out for repeated calculations or duplicate calculations. So the same calculation used in multiple windows. And I'm going to show you some examples of how to find those calculations right now. 
But I do want to say that uh, if this is interesting to you at all and you want to become a better Tableau user, why not join us for one of our classes? We're focused on bringing you uh, the most practical, uh, you know, day-to-day -day working knowledge of Tableau that you could possibly get in a class. We'd love to see you there. Everything from beginner's classes all the way up to like super advanced classes. Uh, it would be so much fun. We've just launched, a, a, you know, a whole bunch of classes to take us to December all the way through to the kind of halfway through winter and Christmas time. We'd love to see you there. Awesome. So let me show you one way that you can kind of work out, hey, what of, what of these calculated fields uh, am I not using? would be to just slowly work your way down and just press delete, right? Just delete a whole bunch of these. So here's the calculated field. I'm just going to right click and where is my delete? What? Oh, there. <laughs> just missing it. And now you can see I've got an alert, right? You've selected one field in the view to delete. This will affect the following sheet. Latest order info. Do you wish to continue? Well, now I know this field is in use, so I'm going to say no. Okay, cool. Uh, now I can scroll down and we're going to look at a latest order date and let's delete that. And you can see that disappeared. Okay, cool. So when a calculated field is in use, it's going to flag, hey, this field is in use. When it's not in use, it just disappears, which is really, really great to know that you've got that sort of safety blanket. You're not going to affect a whole bunch of worksheets. The second thing is take a look for those duplicate calculations. So that was how to find calculated fields that we're not using. Duplicate calculations are going to be fields like this max order date. Uh, maybe we go here to the latest order info. So, um, you know, here we're using a max order date, but we've got another calculated field called latest order date. It's like the same thing, right? So it's just returning the latest order date in our field. Maybe we're using that same calculated field in different worksheets. So when we're trying to delete a unused calculated field, Tableau says, hey, both of these are in use. They're doing the same job. So keep an eye out for those and try and like minimize the duplicates. It's so easy to do, especially if you're experimenting, you're trying to work out, hey, does this thing work? Can I use this? Can I use that? Uh, but that's definitely something to keep an eye out for and just minimize the number of calculations. So to do a quick recap, if things are getting really busy, organize your data pane by folders. There are those three ways of grouping by folders. One is by sort of like the function of the, the calculation, the, you know, what is it based on, the field it's based on. The second is the worksheet that it's based on. And the last one is the type of calculation uh, that it is. And then it's deleting unused calculations and keeping an eye out for duplicate calculations. I hope this has been helpful. I'd love to know what else do you do to keep the data pane clean? Uh, like I said, it's not an exhaustive list. I'm sure you've got some great ideas on how to do that. All right, any questions, pop them in the comments below. We're looking forward to see you next time.